what's going on guys welcome to your 43rd tutorial and in this tutorial as promised I'm going to show you guys how to modify only certain lines so here's our um, document we have so far it's called A and it says this is a new line this is line 2 third line last and final line so let's go ahead and get rid of that and let me show you guys how to modify certain lines in that document so before we can modify the lines we need to take all the lines or read them in so let's go ahead and create a new file object and of course like before we want this to be a read object so look in your uh... find your path C I hope I remember it test a dot text and of course it's a read object so go ahead and press R and now we have a file object that can read and what we want to do is create a list that using read lines and remember when you put read lines it returns all of the lines to you in list format so let's go ahead and do that and we want to take that list and store it in a temporary variable so let's go ahead and make a temporary variable called list me uh, you can name it anything you want I'm gonna name it list me so you know it's a list I can't have list because list is an actual keyword so let's go ahead and push list me and set it equal to fob which is a file object dot read lines and don't forget it needs to be plural and that's it just put list me equal to fob read lines now go ahead and press enter and list me is now equal to as you can see equal to a list of all the lines in that document a dot text so now we can go ahead and close this since we don't need it anymore and what we want to do now is modify this list so we want to modify let's say uh, the third line in it so let's go ahead and write list me and let's go ahead and press 2 because remember 2 is actually the third line since it starts at 0 and let's just change this line so list me 2 equals um, mm, I sure love bacon so just to get something out of the ordinary so now we have a list of the files and in, and this is the old one the new one is the exact same thing except the third line says mm, I sure love bacon so now once you print out list me we get that new one that says mm, I sure love bacon in this third one the problem is we didn't actually save this to the text document yet so even though we read from the file the original file and made a new list we didn't save that list into a new file or we didn't write it yet so let's go ahead and write that and I'll show you guys what I mean right here computer C A A right there as you can see this is our document we didn't change it yet so even though we changed it um, using our program we didn't change the actual file yet it still says this is third line and we don't want that so let me go ahead and we need to make a new file object and we'll make this one an open object and excuse me a write object so let's go ahead and as our first parameter you guys should get good at this test.a.text and make this a write since we want to write obviously so the next thing I want to do is use a little function called write lines and what write lines is going to do is allow you to do just that so let's go ahead and um, file object and put write lines and as your parameter not write line actually that brings me to a point there is no write line function because if you, there was a write line function it would just be right since that's what you're doing writing the line there's only a write lines function in order to write new lines so what do we want to do add as a parameter to write multiple lines well all we have to do is put the name of our variable list me since we already have a list of brand new lines so let's go ahead and press enter and what it does is once we close this that right here it took this parameter which was a list of new lines and it wrote new lines to whatever our object was which was this text file right here and then we just closed so now once we did that we should have some new lines in our um, document so let's go ahead and see show you guys what I'm doing here test a 
and it says this is a new line this is line two mm, I sure love bacon this is the last and final line and I'll show you guys why I said why this didn't go to a new line because I forgot to do something um let's see X out of this when I put I sure love bacon I should have done this mm, I sure love bacon and I should have put new line but I didn't as you can see backslash and from before is the new line character and I forgot to put that so that's why um, it was the old line but again that's how you use um, a list from reading from a list and the read lines functions to get a list and also the write lines function to import a list and write it as new lines in your file so again don't forget your uh, new line character like I did but if you didn't it still works either way so hopefully you understand um, a little bit what I did um, I'll try to clear things up for you in the next couple of tutorials, but that's the basics of how to edit a certain line. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, you can just send me a message. Um, otherwise, just thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.